How's it going to do I'm the Blizzard Eyes and welcome to another tutorial video. Yeah, it's been a while I've done these. I want this to be one of the last tutorial videos I make for the PS4 as the PS5 is literally around the corner by the time I'm making this video. So for the PS4, make sure you have a TV to connect the PS4 to as we do not know how to navigate around the PS4 blindly. For those who are looking for that, I sadly do not know how to navigate around the PS4 blindly. So make sure you do have a TV. As we can view our PS4 screens, we will be able to change a few settings here and there for the PS4. As for the PC, we're going to need a software called ps4 remote play do not worry this software is official so do not worry about getting any sort of viruses from this software the link will be in the description below to download it so make sure you go check it out so you can go download it from the website other than that welcome to how to play your ps4 on the pc with remote play let's start on the pc what you want to download is the software ps4 remote play again check the description for the link where it says ps4 remote play download you will be taken to the website once at the website there's going to be two download links this is going to be for the windows and this is going to be for Mac. Myself, I use Windows, but still follow the tutorial even if you have a Mac. Once successfully downloaded, you'll have to install it. It's going to give you the installation setup, so make sure you do all that. It's just going to be pretty basic, like agree with the license agreements, also where you want to set it up. Make sure you do all that. Once done, let's head over to our PS4 now. On the PS4, we're just checking one setting. So go to settings, go to remote play connection settings. You want to make sure that the enable remote play is checked. Once checked, let's disconnect our controller. Just head over to devices bluetooth devices and disconnect the current controller connected to your console back over on the pc let's go ahead and open ps4 remote play this is what you'll be introduced with it's going to ask you to connect your ps4 controller via the cord or via an wireless adapter which we do not have so what we're going to do is just connect our ps4 controller with the cord that the ps4 came with there's a few things that we want to change as to our settings firstly make sure that you're logged into the playstation network as for the resolution i'm going to just do it on standard because i'm recording i usually play on 1080 but since i'm recording right now i do not want to risk it and we're also going to leave our frame rate on standard once you have it on the settings that you want it to be make sure you just click ok then click start or you can also press the options button on your controller instead wait a bit be patient and it should connect and there we go we currently have the ps4 screen on my pc so you can go ahead and play any games you want it would kind of depend on the power of your pc uh as you play games like god of war and last of us 2 those games are a bit beefy so it would depend on how powerful your pc is but games such as like fortnite and paladins it's going to be much more manageable because those games do not take up a lot of frames do not take a lot of power and yeah anyways that does it for this video did it really help you guys out a lot i really hope so to show that make sure you drop a like as that helps me out a lot and do subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this and also by subscribing shows that you guys support these type of videos as well anyways i'll catch you guys in the next one let's crank up and move out